Hey guys, what is up, and welcome to today's video, where we're going to be having a look at Jean Grey, uh, the Phoenix. There are actually two versions of Jean Grey, uh, Phoenix in the game at the moment. There's uh, Phoenix and also Dark Phoenix, who are the last two chapters of the X-Men Terminus event. However, from kind of having a rough look at the abilities and animations, they are exactly the same champion. So this video is going to uh, cover both of them, because they have absolutely nothing different about them. Uh, but anyway, it's quite an interesting champion not really too sure exactly where it's going to fit into the game or even if it's going to be a playable character I don't think we've had uh, any confirmation of that yet but she does have some very uh, interesting and unique abilities so we're going to be having a look a bit into her abilities today and then we're going to be going into some uh, animation specials and gameplay so yeah let's start off with having a look at some of her abilities so we're going to start off with the uh, the awakened and duped ability which is actually pretty pretty awesome. So it's kind of like a good version of the Punisher's uh, uh, the Punisher's Awakened ability and Luke Cage's Awakened ability. Kind of mixed together, I guess. Uh, so once per fight when the Phoenix or Jean Grey uh, would be knocked out and killed, she immediately becomes invulnerable for two seconds and can't take any damage and consumes all of her Phoenix Force charges, uh, regaining a certain percentage of health based on her dupe level for each charge that she has active. So Phoenix Force Force charges are something that um, is kind of a resource that is used by Phoenix or Jean Grey. Uh, we're going to call her Phoenix for the video, I guess. That makes her a little bit easier to uh, to digest. Uh, so after this as well, she gains one Phoenix Force charge. Now, this is pretty good. So when she's going to cheat death, she uh, she becomes invulnerable, uh, regens up a ton. So if it's quite common for her to have a lot of stacks of this, and, you know, every time she's about to die, gain like 50% health, you know, this might make for an amazing Alliance War boss, possibly. Uh, when we fought her on yesterday's stream, though, it didn't seem like this ability actually worked properly. So, again, it, this champion has literally been added to the game yesterday, so there might be a bug with it. But, you know, we're going to find her again in the video. We're going to see if this properly works. Uh, but on text, you know, or just on paper, this looks absolutely amazing. So, hopefully, it is as good as described uh, when it comes to actually playing this champion. Now, let's talk about the Phoenix 4. So, the Phoenix's connection to the Cosmic Phoenix Force Entity is the source of much of her power. She begins the fight with one Phoenix Force charge and periodically generates Fury buffs based on her current number of Phoenix Force charges. So for every uh, charge uh, she has, she uh, gains Fury, which increases her attack by 7.5%. Uh, the number's green, so as you maybe rank up or get a stronger version of the champion, uh, the Fury might increase by even more, which is pretty cool. So she has two uh, two stages. She has, uh, well, actually three, I guess. She has normal, where it's... Uh, uh, four and below, she is empowered, which is five or more. So let's look at uh, five or more and what happens then. So all attacks gain a 100% chance to incinerate the opponent, dealing 7% of her attacker's energy damage over six seconds. Now, this is okay. Uh, an okay bit of damage, but I guess what's so good about the incineration is that this effect also removes perfect block chance and reduces block proficiency by 50% while it's active. Uh, meaning that, you know, if you get hit by one of her attacks, uh, if she's a defender, you are going to have a real, real... Uh, tough time, you know, kind of uh, controlling the match as you're going to have your almost, uh, you know, block proficiency whittled down to almost nothing. You're going to be taking a lot more damage on blocks. Uh, and I guess this is good playing offensively because when you're attacking into stuff, uh, even if they're blocking, you're still going to be dealing a lot of damage. So it seems okay. Like a, a little bit of damage. Not super great, but uh, okay. Good, good. And then we have uh, heavy attacks gain 100% chance to armor break, reducing armor by 30% to 7 seconds. This is good. If it stacks, it could possibly be some sort of crazy combo uh, where maybe you double armor break and then use like a level 2 or something for insane amounts of damage. So there is potential there, you know, if that does stack. So I imagine it probably will stack. And then you have the overloaded phase, which is actually too much fury from what I understand. So um, you begin to consume... Uh, all of the Fury buffs periodically. Uh, the only uh, pro, I assume, of being in this phase is that uh, uh, all your attacks have a 20% chance to stun incinerated opponents, but your charges and fury are going to be going down, uh, and your offensive and defensive power gain is reduced by 80%, so not really that great. And then on reaching zero fury charges, the Phoenix stops overloading, and you generate one... Uh, 
uh, Phoenix Force Charge. So yeah, you're kind of back to normal. It's all actually based off the, uh, yeah, it's based off the Fury buffs, which are based off the Phoenix Force Charges. So all fun and games, guys. All fun and games. I, I, I like it. A bit to, um, a bit to manage, like different state uh, statuses and modes of the champion. It's fun. It adds a uh, another exciting element to the gameplay. So I, I do like that. And our heavy attacks also have a hundred percent chance to gain a Phoenix Force buff, which is pretty cool. So special attack one gain. Uh, you gain ten percent power for each Phoenix Force charge, consuming all but one of them. So that seems that seems pretty good. I guess like if you had uh, what was it like seven stacks of Phoenix Force charges and used a special one, then that would instantly like ramp you up to the level two level. So that's pretty cool. And then you consume also uh, one every fra uh, every stack of your fury, increasing special damage by 10% uh, per fury consumed. Seems okay. I like that you know you can kind of cash in your buffs to do additional damage on the specials. Um, and the special attack too, you gain three additional stacks of Phoenix Force, and you also consume up to four Fury buffs, increasing special damage by 10% per Fury consumed. So again, you know, you're cashing in your Fury buffs uh, to deal even more damage. And the level two is pretty cool. Uh, to be honest, this champion has such great animations. I'm going to show those off in a second. And then special attack three, which I, I don't know if this is going to be good, and we can't see in the heroic mode, so we're going to have to see some type of master. Uh, but this attack consumes all of the Phoenix's Fury buffs granting up to 242% damage bonus uh, based on the number of Fury buffs consumed. So that seems that seems pretty powerful. Could be some pretty hefty level freeze there. So guys, we're going to go in. We're going to go in with a Captain America World War II. Um, and we are just going to basically get hit a lot. That's the plan. We're going to see all of the specials and all of the cool stuff that she does. So yeah, that's the, uh, that's the plan, guys. We're just going to uh, block, get hit. Just see her floating about. Okay, let's let's take some damage. Wow, we can't take too much damage. I like that kind of like fire is uh, glowing off her uh, uh, specials. That's really cool. Does she have similar animations to Doctor Strange? Kind of, kind of. They're both kind of floaty champions. Okay, come on, let's do this. Hit me. There we go. Okay, we're being incinerated now because she has five stacks of fury. Ah, the incineration stacks. Okay, guys. I was wrong about incineration. It is... It's good. If it stacks, man, this is good. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot better than I thought. I didn't think it was going to stack, so... Okay, there we go. Was that level one or level two that we saw there? Didn't really have much room, I guess. Gonna have to probably go up to... Um, what is it? The uh, We'll go with one of the weaker champions, because if I fought with this guy, she'd just die way too fast. So we'll go with one of the weaker champions now that we've seen a few of her attacks. Um, and, you know, attempt to, you know, f finish the fight with one of those. See that level one? There we go. Level one's pretty cool. A little burst of fire there. And let's, uh, who should we use? Should we use Karnak? Yeah, let's use Karnak. So we're going to take the fight nice and slow. Uh, don't want to burst her down too quickly. Wow, we almost have no health on Karnak. We might actually get a little bit wrecked here. We're going to have to play the game quite well. I brought really, really weak champions. Because I, I didn't want her to die too fast at all. Okay, there we go. Do, do, do. I want to get up to a level 2 level, actually. Oh, okay, that's really cool. Yeah, now that we can see that animation a bit more fleshed out, get it spurts out like some beams of fire. Really, uh, really good looking animation. Okay, let's get used to uh, fighting this champ. Okay, can we get her up to the level 2 level? Just need to get another parry in. There we go. We're pretty much there. Let's use the level 1 just to make sure she gets there. And a level 2 is like, it's a fire tornado, right? There we go. So she kind of like summons up this fire tornado and then smushes it down for damage. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's uh, let's beat her up a bit more. Oh my god, this might take a while actually, but it's good, guys. We can get a nice, uh, a nice long showcase of uh, Phoenix gameplay. Okay, let's use the level two on Karnak there. Should probably be uh, trying to evade these and figuring out the best way. With the level two, it's definitely just evade back. Level one, it's kind of what it's, it's a bit of a bit of a new animation style, I guess. It's kind of like a flurry just in front of her of fire. It's very cool. Oh no! Oh, we got a little bit wrecked there. A little bit wrecked, but not too wrecked. And yeah, actually, when she's defensive, she's not really gaining many charges of Phoenix Force or Fury. So I guess she's maybe a bit su better suited to being an offensive champion. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's use that level two. Boom! Okay, let's let's play her level two now. Where's this uh, this tornado? Let's get out. 
Dude, dude. Okay, there we go. Whoa. <laughs> Very cool. I love the, uh, what is it? The effect on the ground as well. Kind of that smush, smush smoldering animation. It's very awesome looking. Okay, dude. Let's try and get a uh, another level two here. Are we in a Daedalus level two? Should we Daedalus level two? Yeah, let's let's die to the level two. There we go. Hey, a little bit wrecked there, a little bit wrecked. All, all fun and games though. I wanted to see kind of where it where it threw me though. Uh, but that was cool. Okay, let's go with um, let's go with Gamora next. I like Gamora. We can get some uh, hopefully very hefty level twos off. Okay, so let's get a good parry and let's beat her up. Let's do it, boys. Let's do it. Okay, so her level uh, heavy attack is just just to kind of dash forward. So that's uh, helpful to know when you're playing this champion. Well, fighting against this champion. She seems quite easy to fight against, actually. Maybe not the best candidate for Alliance War defense. And also, I guess when you're, like, smacking her, she only... Well, actually, she has a couple of charges of Fury now. But she doesn't have enough charges of Phoenix Force to really give her a, uh, a significant heal, I guess. Might be a quite a good champion, actually, for maybe Alliance War attack. Maybe if, uh, you know, you can kind of utilize the uh, the tactical Defer Death. When you have, I don't know, maybe like five stacks of that or ten stacks or however high you can get it. Okay, she's not going to use a level three, is she? Nah, we don't get a level three action. It's pretty cool to see. Let's see if this cheat death actually works, though. Wow, she's got a lot of stacks now. Wasn't seeing this many stacks before, but maybe when she gets, uh, yeah, where's she getting stacks from? That's the question. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there, there's, oh my god, she becomes, like, immune as well. Okay, that was really cool. That was really cool. So we didn't see that work properly in the video yesterday, but we did see it work today. Okay, so we're going to actually have to play quite well now. We need to get her down. That was really cool, though. Very, very cool animation. Love that. Maybe she might be pretty decent on a fawns node. I don't know. We're going to have to find out. Going to have to see, boys. Going to have to see. Okay. Actually, we don't We don't need to be the level 2 here. We can just uh, play normally. I'm a little bit worried that my Gamora is going to die. Okay. Did we get assassination? No procs of assassination there. Oh, damn it. We're close. Because if we fight her again, you know, we're going to have to deal with the... Uh, what was it? The Phoenix coming back to life. Hopefully she wouldn't heal too much if we were to do that again. Oh, no assassination again. Boys, this is not what we want. Are we going to get her down? Oh, no. Way too much damage. Way too much damage there. Okay, we just need to get a good parry off. And there. Uh, then we're golden. Then we're golden. Whoa, that was good. That was a really, really fun fight, actually, using 600 PI champions. Guys, I'm excited. I am excited for Jean Grey. She looks like a really cool champion. To be honest, between Jean Grey and Quake... I, I really do prefer Quake a lot more, uh, but Jean Grey is also pretty cool, and I'm excited to kind of like play test and fight with both of them. But out of the two, you know, we've done a video on Quake today, we've done one on Jean Grey. I like Quake a lot bit more. J uh, you know, Jean Grey is kind of like, what is she a mixture between? She's kind of a mixture between, I guess, like Punisher. And I, uh, she's actually quite a unique champion, to be honest. But uh, Quake being a mixture of kind of Electra and Captain America, that is good. That is a great champion. And, like, just from looking at that champion and looking at Quake's abilities, you can tell she's going to be really solid for Alliance War Attack. But in terms of this champion, I, I'm not really too sure where she fits in the game. Um, but, guys, let me know your thoughts on uh, Phoenix, Jean Grey. Where did she fit? What would she be good for? I'm interested to know, guys. Leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more awesome Marvel Contest of Champions and iOS gaming content, uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button. That would be greatly appreciated. If you liked the video, leave a like. Apart from that, guys, take care, and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.